once we left the parking lot and I literally was driving my van away from the dealership, I pulled up to get gas and I was just like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Like, I just bought a van and like, this is my house now? And that's when it like actually got real is when I was driving it away and my mom was all like, woo! And I was like, ah. But now I'm like, woo! <laughs> so. My name's Natalie Taylor. I am a student at the University. I'm studying agriculture communications. I'm originally from Hope, Indiana, which is about an hour south of Indianapolis. And this is my van, Mushu. <laughs> so when I first came to Purdue, I didn't even do dorms. I went straight to an apartment and I had lived there for um, the first two years of college. And once COVID hit, um, I actually have a friend who texted in our climbing group chat. He was like, hey guys, let's all just like get a van and we'll go out west and we'll just climb. And it was like, oh yeah, like of course that would be dope, but I mean, probably not gonna happen. And then a few weeks later, I can't remember how long it was, sure enough, he had purchased a van with his brother. And I was like, oh my gosh, like he actually did it. That's really cool. And it was honestly really inspiring to be like, what if there was some way I could make this work too? What if I could somehow do this in college? What if I could somehow not have to pay for an apartment and I could live out of a van and make it work and then maybe do it after college too and I would just have uh, this take with me. And so then I went home and I was like, hey mom, so please don't freak out, but I just have an idea and it's just an idea and I'm just brainstorming. But what if I live in a van for college and like it would be an investment and it'd be fun. She was like, that's a really cool idea. I'll talk to your dad and see what he thinks about his daughter living in a van in college. And I was like, cool, the ball's rolling, but it's probably gonna stop after like a few feet. Um, yeah, so that's what got me interested initially. And after that, I decided to go for it. And here I am. <laughs> I'll go ahead and start with this. This is my fridge. It's a domestic fridge. It's a pretty typical van lifer fridge. I have these bathrooms here, which is really nice. I keep all of like, I keep like a small French press in here, like plastic bags, utensils. And then under here is where I keep my uh, like water system set up. So I do have running water. I have a pump where the wastewater goes, and I have another one that looks identical to this, and that's where I store my fresh water. And then right here, is where I decided to put um, this uh, switch panel for um, my power. It's hooked up to my Jackery, which is what I use for my power system. This will typically last me like three days off of power from this, but now with it being so cold outside, it's during the winter, I could probably go a week without having to recharge this again. Underneath this bench right here is actually an open space. I keep my Mr. Buddy heater. This is what helps heat up the van in the winter. Um, I'll just turn it on for typically like a half hour and it heats up the space pretty well. I always make sure to open my fan up a little bit too to have some ventilation just because, you know, it's not like what you want to breathe in for the rest of your life, you know, in <laughs> a small space. Under here is more just like storage space. I keep like paper towels. I also keep like canned soup. That's a van life staple for me. It's very easy to just heat it up and have like lentil soup for dinner or something like that. So that's a go-to a lot. All right, so this is my bed. It's a full-size mattress, which was something that was really important to me. I wanted to have a nice big old bed. This is just like, literally like this thick memory foam just on the plywood. And then up here is where I store just like some basic clothes. Um, so I just installed these. So just like if you would have like a closet door type thing or just sliding doors. Um, I keep just like a backup toilet sort of thing. I don't really have it functioning right now um, just because it's so cold outside, but I do store that under here. There's some basic stuff that I keep down here. Uh, propane, more clothes, and then I just have some extra like coats and stuff. Oh, and then this is my bike, so you basically just pull it out like this. Oh, well, I have some. There we go. 
and then you unscrew this right here, which loosens this to let you take the bike off, and then I just attach my wheel and zoom away. When I first started out, all I had was a mattress on the floor with like the bare minimum of things. It was literally just me with my backpack and like a bag of food for probably the first two weeks of school. And then I went home on a weekend and was able to put in the bed, which was amazing how much space I gained after being elevated off the floor on a bed structure. The biggest challenge of all of this actually hasn't been the functioning or the physical side of van life. All those things can give you roadblocks or troubles and it might be hard or frustrating at times if it's not going well or your way, but there's always an easier light of the tunnel at the end of that. Like you know you're gonna figure it out. Like yeah, I might be like bleeding in my van right now and trying to perform minor surgery on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> but with no like running water, but like it's fine you figure it out like it works you can You can you can get there What I enjoy the most about van life is that Every day I feel like there's even more of the little things that I appreciate in life uh, And that's not just appreciating things that are actual objects, but more of just different moments throughout your day and a lot of that is incorporated with my life in the van. Um, from just the happiness of making coffee and getting to sit down in this tiny little space and you know work on whatever you're working on. I mean, just things like that make you just be like, wow, this is life and this is pretty cool, I get to do this. 